Good morning, everyone. You are watching Witness Vision. Um, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button, and turn the notification bell on. Right now, it is currently a rainy Friday morning, but it is Friday, so got a nice little weekend ahead of us here. I'm, uh, I'm driving in the carry right now to go pick up a bagel at Big Down's Bagel Shop. Um, if you don't know about them, they are a small little local business um, this is not a promotion for them but i definitely i definitely highly suggest that you go check it out if you like bagels um they're some of the best bagels i've had um yeah so a huge shout out to big doms for always and so yeah definitely go try them out i'm uh repping the jags today not a not a fan, just I got a roommate who is currently on the team who hopefully I can get on the show one time. Um, I'm a diehard Bears fan, so for all my Bears fans out there, bear down. Hopefully we're making a push for Deshaun coming up here sooner than later because I think we're all kind of tired of Mitch. and He played at the school across the street, so I'm not a huge fan of his, but... I'm a Bears fan, so I'll root for him if he's playing good, and I'll be the first one to criticize him when he's playing bad, like every every Bears fan is. But yeah, follow me along this weekend, and um, I got an interview coming up this Sunday for you guys uh, with a former teammate and player of NC State, so I'm looking forward to that, and hopefully you guys are too. Uh, see you guys later. So here is... Big Downs Bagels just in downtown Cary. So whenever you're in whenever you're in downtown Cary, stop by, help them out. You'll love it. So fast forward a little bit is currently Saturday, like five o'clock, and me and Alex decided to do steak for dinner. Well, I decided to do steak for dinner and she is here to eat it. So for the steak, I decided to do a garlic butter. So I bought a big old thing of butter. Biggest thing of butter I've seen. Chopped up some garlic, got some um, rosemary, some parsley, and chop it up, mix it in there, and then roll it back up into this, and lay it on top of the steak. And I'll show you guys a little video in between there to see how it's going. So here is the final product of the garlic and herb butter that I whipped up. And then we got a bottle of wine. And it's a solid, I'll give it a solid 7 out of 10. And then I got the steaks, I seared them in a cast iron. And they're in there. And here's little Leo. Leo! Oh, people are gonna love you. Sit. Oh, see, he's just a good boy. He's just a good boy. Here's the steak finishing up. I have made, I got the uh, homemade garlic and herb butter roasting on top of there just to melt. And we'll see how the results are. All right, here's the final of the roasted broccoli uh, with a little olive oil, garlic, salt, pepper, and balsamic. We got our mashed potatoes and our steak with our mushrooms. So I never gave a final review on the steak with the homemade butter, but it was good. I kind of overcooked the steak a little bit more than I would like to, but it's all right, it turned out good. It's currently 10.40 at night and I'm having a little snack, which I gotta show y'all because it's gonna be your new favorite snack. We got fruity pebbles with marshmallows. It's literally the two best cereals put together in the one. And yeah, that's the coolest keychain you could ever have. Bottle opener. Good morning everyone, it is Sunday morning and it's finally sunny after about four weeks of rain. We finally got a sunny day. We are in City Market, downtown Raleigh, going to Big Ed's. 
You want to say hi? Hi. So, and I got some news coming later on an interview, so stay tuned. So that's gonna wrap up the weekend. Um, just a little bit of the weekend I gotta show you. We got to see uh, how I like to make a steak. Um, and then the news coming, I got Aleem McNeil. Uh, he played at defensive tackle at NC State. He right now is training uh, in California, I believe it is, for the NFL Combine. Actually, no, they're not having a combine for Pro Day. And then hopefully we will hear his name in day one or day two of the NFL draft. But he will be in the interview this week. So I'll try to get that out tomorrow. Um, it's currently Sunday night. So, yeah, tomorrow that video will be released. And uh, thanks for following along. Once again, please subscribe. Hit the like button and turn the notification bell so you find out what I drop next. And I appreciate all of y'all. Thank you for following and making it to the end. Peace.